In this video, you will learn how to complete the parking permit task for the separating employee. When an employee submits a separation request, you will receive an email notification that looks like this one. The email will inform you that an employee is separating, and that a task was assigned to you. Also, the email will contain a hyperlink that you need to click, to access the Human Capital Services portal. Click the hyperlink in the email notification to log in the Human Capital Services portal. When you click the hyperlink in the email, it will prompt you to log in to the Human Capital Services portal. We recommend you to use Google Chrome or Firefox to log in the Human Capital Services portal. When you log in, you will find a page like this one. Notice this task is in a queue waiting for someone to select and process it. Notice no one is the owner of this task at this time. To take ownership and process this task, click select. Notice the task has an owner now. Check if the separating employee has a parking permit. Use the other systems you normally use to verify employees' parking permits. If the separating employee is not in the system, the system you normally use to check employees' parking permits, select Employee Not in System, NA. And you are done. If the separating employee returned the parking permit, select Parking Permit Returned Yes. And you are done. However, if the separating employee did not return the parking permit, select Parking Permit Returned No. Now, you are waiting for the employee to return the parking permit. If the employee does not return the parking permit and you need to complete this task, select Pass Not Returned. If the employee had a parking pass, which is part of carpool, the separating employee does not need to return it, select Pass Part of Carpool, and the system will mark the task as clearance yes. Select Pass Returned if the employee has returned the parking permit. And, you completed the task. Good job.